Hello guys, uh, are you a Python developer or have you ever used uh, any integrated development environment, IDE? Uh, then you're in the right place. Uh, let's jump into the video and see how we can install it in uh, Windows. So we're going to start by opening our browser and uh, which is uh, using Mozilla Firefox and then I will search for JetBrains uh, first disable this notification and then I will search for JetBrains uh, tool, toolbox uh, which will, uh, we will download first. I prefer using this method because it's uh, fast. I will navigate to the download page for toolbox and then we'll download the .exe the executable file and then it will ask us if you want to save the file. The download will begin. And you can check the progress of the download at the top bar, top right. And then after the download has completed, it will prompt us to open the executable file. And then we will, uh, after opening it, we'll give it some time. It will open the installation wizard. And we will click install to start the installation. Once the installation has, uh, as it's continuing, once it's complete, it will uh, tell us uh, how to uh, go next. I'm assuming there will be a button for finish. And then once we've clicked finish, we can, it will run the JetBrains toolbox if the, the checkbox was checked. And we will click accept. And it opens the toolbox on our right, bottom right. And then we'll click, we'll go to PyCharm community, note PyCharm community, and then we start, it will begin to download. Once it has also completed to download the PyCharm Community Edition, then it's going to install. It will start the installation process and it will be denoted by the installation text, installing text. Then once installed, the installation is, uh, it should not take a lot of time. Once it's complete, then it will uh, show a notification, a Windows notification that it has completed. And then you'll click on it and then it will uh, display the splash screen or rather before that it should uh, show the user agreement in terms you need to read through and accept and then you click continue then it is going to ask about data sharing for myself i've clicked do not send do not share the data anonymous data then it will show the splash screen and then it will take a few seconds on showing the splash screen and then after that, it's gonna uh, display, it should display the, the user interface for PyCharm. Yeah, so this is how it looks like uh, once you have installed and run it. 